Good afternoon and welcome to the Texas A&M University San Antonio 2017 Fall Commencement. Please remain standing for the presentation of colors in the National Anthem. The colors are presented by the a and San Antonio ROTC Color Guard. The National Anthem will be performed by University Voices under the direction of Dr. Martha Saywell. Go ahead, please be seated. Thank you, Dr. Saywell and University Voices for the wonderful performance. Hello, everybody. My name is Michael Bryan, and it's my privilege to serve as provost at Texas A&M San Antonio. We're delighted to have all of you here, graduates, families, friends, representatives of the faculty and administration. This is a joyous day in which we take pride in our students and their hard work and dedication. Because this is such a wonderful occasion, we expect and certainly want appropriate noise. Some of you brought only your hands, whether as others of you brought cowbells and air horns, I urge you to use them. In fact, let's check them out right now to see how well they work. Can anybody bring air horns? All right, I'm convinced, even better. On a more serious note, I'd like to make a request of you. I know that some of you, as soon as you walk across the stage, you'd like to leave so that you can celebrate with friends and family. That's fine if you're at the front of the line, but it's not so great if you aren't and your family has only themselves to cheer for you. So let's everybody try to stay, uh, stay here. I promise that we'll move things along and out of, have you out of here in record time because we really do know what we're doing. It's now my pleasure to introduce most of the members of our platform party. I'm going to hold off on two of them until a bit later and would ask them to stand when announced. Please hold your applause until I announce all of them. Vice President for Student Affairs, Melissa Mahan. Vice President for University Advancement, Richard Ortega. Vice President for Business Affairs and our CFO, Bill Spindle. Dean of the College of Education and Human Development, Sean Kearney. Dean of the College of Business, Tracy Hurley. Dean of the College of Arts and Science, Marilyn Balasubramanya our student government president, Mary Walker, and our faculty senate president, Dr. Amy Porter. Additionally, I would like to acknowledge members of the Texas A&M San Antonio Foundation Board who are in attendance with us this afternoon. Let's give them all a big round of applause. <clears throat> a 
As a military embracing university, we would be remiss if we did not honor our patriots here today. Will everyone who is active or retired military please stand to be recognized? Thank you. I know I've talked to active military personnel, retired, and they go, you know, sometimes it's a little embarrassing when people say thank you for your service because, you know, they say we're doing our job. But trust me when I say to each one of you, all of us here love the fact that you did your job and did it so well. Let's give these fine men and women another round of applause. Today, we have as our distinguished commencement speaker, our president, Dr. Cynthia Teniente Matson. Commencement speakers are supposed to ignite passion in soon-to-be graduates. In fact, it's pretty much our last shot at doing that. And as most of all of you know from hearing her speak on campus, Dr. Matson can do just that. She was born in South San Antonio, just a few feet away from campus, has over 25 years' experience in higher education, launching her career in Alaska and then serving for a number of years as CFO of Cal State University in Fresno. She became the second president of Texas A&M San Antonio in 2015. On top of serving as our president, Dr. Matson just last Friday was elected president of the San Antonio Tricentennial Commission following confirmation votes by the San Antonio City Council and the San Antonio Tricentennial Commission. This is a really big deal. The San Antonio Tricentennial is a year-long celebration which kicks off this New Year's Eve and honors 300 years of the city's rich heritage and diverse culture. An estimated 700 organizations are expected to host some 500 events with the help of thousands of volunteers throughout the year with a total economic impact of the city of more than $100 million. As I said, that's a huge deal for all of us. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming our president, Dr. Cynthia Teniente Matson, to the podium. Dr. Matson. Thank you, Provost O'Brien. I'm always pleased to see you. Thank you for your leadership with us here today. Family, friends, and graduates, today we're here to celebrate a momentous milestone in your academic career, Commencement Day. I am thankful and delighted to be here witnessing this special afternoon with your most beloved ones. You are the class of 2017. Please take a moment to look at your fellow graduates. You made it. Today's ceremony serves as a symbol of excellence and new beginnings. I know that many of you juggle multiple responsibilities and commitments to others, but today is about you. Please take a moment to reflect on the personal drive or passion it took to get you here. The proverbial reward, the investment of time, energy, and personal commitment is here today. Take this commencement day to celebrate. To all of those in the audience who helped you get here, on behalf of the university, we applaud you. Today's commencement ceremony is also a time for us, university leadership, faculty, and staff at Texas A&M San Antonio to recognize your accomplishments. You represent our collective success in teaching and learning, and we are immensely proud of where you are today. We know your intellectual curiosity will continue to accelerate, and we look forward to witnessing your continued personal and professional development. As a graduate of A&M San Antonio, you have demonstrated audaciousness, grit, and determination through your academic pursuits, and today, earning your degree. Our faculty and staff have helped you build a strong educational foundation, which is rooted in transformative learning and hands-on experiences, purpose-driven research, and discovery, also, always with a commitment to service. Never forget, you are visible role models that represent a and San Antonio wherever you go and in whatever you do. The future of our society depends on your wisdom, creativity, 
and ingenuity. As a new graduate, you are living and evolving throughout an accelerated period of technological and social change. Some say that we're living in the fourth industrial revolution, also known as the global knowledge information age, which represents a combination of cyber and physical systems, such as the internet of things and the internet of systems. As new graduates, you are challenged with social issues, advocacy for human rights, economic opportunities, and workplace experiences that have never existed at this scale in your lifetime of work. According to a recent study by the Pew Research Center, our future workforce will continue to require higher levels of preparation, including your education, experience, and job training, along with your interpersonal skills, your management and communication skills for improved critical thinking and analytical skills. Fortunately, these are attributes and actions that the faculty here at A&M San Antonio have already instilled in you. But it is only you who can continue to nurture and develop as you move into the next chapter of your life. Our faculty and staff have also challenged you to constructively express diverse opinions while always maintaining a culture of civility and respect. Please hold on to these values of broad grace critical thinking and listening to divergent opinions as, the, as these perspectives will become your competitive advantage in the marketplace. Based on various studies over the next 10 to 20 years, technology will permeate every occupation. Imagine with me what our world will be like with self-driving cars, 3D printers that print your personalized meals, and artificial intelligence. Some futurists say that humanity will change more in the next 20 years than in all of human history. New innovations will continue to be explored by a number of technology companies. And as new technologies emerge and as the world changes, there will be higher demands for new careers to create new blueprints for the way we travel, live, and work. Graduates, I challenge you to keep chasing new ideas. Be creative and innovative, and don't be afraid to chart a new path. In the words of Ralph Waldo Emerson, do not follow where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. Through your curiosity, diligence, and investment in this educational journey, you are prepared with the skills to become the next generation of leaders within our city, our state, and our world. Once you cross this stage, I challenge you to continue the positive trajectory. Take this time to visualize the next steps of your life, because nothing happens by accident. And when you make a mistake or a decision that you regret, learn from it and move on. Graduates, you will soon join a group of alumni who are at similar points in their journey. Today, we live in a very integrated, networked economy. And your market now extends to other alumni who may help create opportunities and open doors. I encourage you to stay in touch and stay connected. After all, once a Jaguar, always a Jaguar. Today, you signify that academic achievements are possible. Take this time to pause and share your joy with those around you. Graduates, I am extremely proud of all of you and all of your accomplishments. On behalf of the entire university community, I applaud you, class of 2017. Congratulations. You know, I certainly know that, that Dr. Matson is proud of each and every one of you, and she probably doesn't want me to say this, but I don't really care. Not only is she the president of the university, but she has a, a more fundamental role today, and that's as a mom whose son is graduating in this class too, so it's going to be really special for her. So give her another round of applause. Now please join me in welcoming to the podium a young lady of whom I am very proud, Mary Walker, President of the Student Government Association. Mary? Many of us have been next door to watch a Spurs game or see a concert at the AT&T Center. 
And while commencement might be a different type of experience, I think we can cheer just as loudly for our graduates. Thank you to President Matson, honored guests, faculty and staff, but a special thank you to the parents, spouses, and children who supported our graduates during their journeys. I would also like to thank our graduates for slowing down long enough to celebrate this tremendous achievement in your lives. It is an honor to speak at graduation, and I cannot wait to be in your shoes in May. Graduates, as we celebrate, I want you to take a minute to reflect on the path that brought you here, the caffeinated all-nighters, the vacations you missed while you were enrolled in summer classes, the countless hours you spent commuting to campus, the papers you submitted at 11.59 p.m., and the speeches that you waited to write until the morning of. But specifically, think of all the obstacles you had to overcome before earning your diploma. I can think of a few of my own. In 2014, I left for college, jumping feet first into a world that I was not yet ready for. As soon as the initial excitement wore off, I began to feel like I was drowning. Every time my dad called to check in to see how I was doing, he would ask about my grades. What I couldn't say aloud was that my major wasn't a good fit, I had no passion for the field I was studying, and the classes brought me little joy. I struggled academically and did not return to that school after the first semester. But after two years, I let go of my toxic pride and feelings of failure and found the courage and confidence to start again. This time, I looked at local universities here in my hometown. I forgave myself for my mistakes, focused on developing my strengths, and applied to A&M San Antonio. When I applied to A&M San Antonio, I worried that I would not be accepted because of my previous struggles, that I would never be able to finish my dream of graduating college, but I was given a second chance. You found home at A&M San Antonio, whether it was your first university home, second, or third. This is what our campus and community are to me, a home. This home is where our potential has been fostered. Success finally felt real when I received my university ring. In my adult life, I have never been more excited than when I stepped onto the President's seal in front of the towering Central Academic Building on a hot November day. Oh, how I love Texas weather. <laughs> to accept my university ring with my mother, my inspiration, presenting it to me. I shared that moment with many of you my fellow Jaguars, our families, friends, alumni, faculty, and staff, the people who had been our unyielding support no matter how painful the struggles were on this journey to a cap and gown. Only we can limit ourselves. A mistake, the feeling of failure, is not the end of a dream. It is another opportunity to approach your dreams from a different direction. Our university is a place of continued personal and academic growth. It is a reminder not of struggles, but of accomplishments. It is hope and support when needed. It is here that we have learned our strengths. I am reminded of a childhood inspiration, Shel Silverstein, an American poet and author of children's books. My dad read thousands of books to me as a child, but one of Shel's poems stands out to me in this moment. Listen to the mustn'ts, child. Listen to the don'ts. Listen to the shouldn'ts, the impossibles, the won'ts. Listen to the never haves, then listen close to me. Anything can happen, child. Anything can be. Today we celebrate the obstacles that you have overcome, the ones that may have seemed mountainous but ultimately couldn't stand in your way. As you transition from students to alumni, remember Jaguars. Texas A&M University San Antonio will always be your home. Thank you, Mary. As our students cross the stage in a few minutes, you might notice them wearing different colored cords and stoles. Each represents various academic and student achievements and honors. Of particular notice, the red, white, and blue cords worn by our military students and represent their commitment to service. We will now begin the recognition of our candidates for graduation. Will the candidates please come forward?
from the College of Arts and Sciences, Master of Arts in English, Roger Herrera. Bachelor of Applied Arts and Sciences, Josefa Andong Ella. Priscilla Ann Assen. An honored veteran, Dante L. Banks. Eric Thomas Cadena. Adelina D. Castillo. An honored veteran, Javier H. Castillo, Jr. An honored veteran, Brandon John Chavez, Sr. An honored veteran, Joseph Cruz. Christina Renee Derringer. An honored veteran, Tiffany Lynn Donaldson. Michael Anthony Elizondo. Jesus David Enriquez. Victoria Ann Escobedo. Andrew Ryan Flores. Hiram Flores. Crystal Marie Gallego. Jamie Bryant Gogler. Bobby Hollis Goolsby. Chrissy Marie Greenhaw. Carlos Guillen. Mickey Lynn Hayes, Jr. An honored veteran, Arthur Joe Hardaway III. Sandra D. Harlan. Drew Allen Harris. An honored veteran, John S. Hernandez. Sean Michael Holt. An honored veteran, Velva L. Houston III. Stephen Gregory Kaufman II. An honored veteran, Mara Margaret Kilbane. An honored veteran, Ryan Russell Lamb. Janice Castillo. Javier Adam Lopez. Paul Maldonado, an honored veteran, Jose Francisco Martinez, Deborah Martinez Bonilla, David Moncada, Julia Marie Mario. An honored veteran, Levi Reed Oldham. Yes, Daniel Joshua Ortega. Hector Efrain Perez. Yes, Adriana Ariel Preciado. Daryl Shane Readout. Fabiola Reyes Gonzalez. An honored veteran, Jeremy Chad Roberts. Jose Leonardo Romero Nava. An honored veteran, Juan Jose Sanchez. An honored veteran, Ruben Ricardo Sanchez. Dalia Sarhan. Gary R. Scott. An honored veteran, Eldon B. Shoemaker. An honored veteran, Jorge Solis. 
Valerie Stone. Christopher Brandon Thomas. Maribel Rocha Trillo. Vanessa Garcia Villa. Kimberly Lezama Villarreal. Joseph Dean White. Bachelor of Arts, Laura H. Acevedo. Amanda Marie Aceves. Alexa Yanel Andrade. Herminia Arroyo. David Ryan Barnes. Heather Lynn Bartow. Lori Ann Borrego. Seirug Zavala Carmago. Joseph Paul Canude. Sarah Marie Cantu. Gloria A. Casillas. Cindy C. Castellanos. Melinda Castillo. Kiera Corsama Chav Chavaria. John T. Davila. Wilson D. Donovan. Lorenzo Ramos Escobar. Danica, Danica Anisa Farias. Manuel Alexander Figueroa. Emilio Flores. Estefania Flores. Melody R. Flores. Monica Janelle Garza. Selena Raquel Garza. And honored veteran, Carlos Javier Gomez. Richard Jason Gomez. Jacob Ramon Gonzalez. Laura Elaine Guerra. Pete Hernandez III. Leah Deanne Holmstrom. Joshua Alec Jeske. Genevieve Lynn Kinderneck. Courtney Brianna Kincaid. Valerie Lombardia. Autumn Ray Leal. Laura Ann McMillan. David A. Mandujano. Matthew Patrick Marsh. Cassandra N. Martinez. Sabrina Martinez. An honored veteran, Amanda Desiree Mascoro. Wyatt Henry Matson. Irvin Jose Miranda. Erica Puala Muniz. 
Alexis Dion Munoz, Jamie Tanner Nilan, Zakia Janine Quintino, Victoria Elizabeth Ramon, Joshua Philip Richardson, Kimberly Rivera, Crystal Nayeli Rodriguez, Mara Gabriela Rodriguez, Rosemary Nicole Rodriguez, Lawrence E. Rogers, Sarahi Stephanie Lopez Rudder, Angie Rodriguez Sines, Sarah Rose Salomon, Valerie Leanne Saceda. Yara Shutter, Jillian M. Sotomayor, Christy Janae Tavera, Leticia Teo. April Celeste Torres. Michael Luis Torres. Andrea Trevino. Ryan Joseph Truss. Jared Walter Van Epps. Alexis Daniel Vega. Aaron Hannah Wilkinson. Emily Hope Williamson. Victoria R. Wilson. Vanessa Marie Garcia. An honored veteran. Roberto Leos Marquez. A Bachelor of Science, Jennifer Diane Adams. Cindy Hinata Aguayo. Diana Lachelle Alviso. Rosemary Anguiano. Victoria Marie Avila Proca. Courtney Emily Bendley. Allison Ann Berry. Michelle R. Betterton. Starla Ann Blake. Amber Rose Blancas. Alisa Lynn Bloom. Brianna Carolina Booth. Sherry Lynn Brown. Cleo Lindsay Brubaker. Amanda Nicole Cabello. An honored veteran, Adira Rari Ahava Carillo. Sharia Cobb. 
Erica Jean Conaway. Blanca Aide Contreras. An honored veteran, Kelly Jo Cothran. Juan Carlos Crespin. Jenna Cheyenne De Castro. Jenny Estailla. Virginia Fernandez. Dionia Gracia. Desi Estefan Guerrero. Alan Hernandez. Julia Garcia Hernandez. Danielle K. Hoffman. Jacqueline Renee Horton. Ashley Ann Hughes. Shakina Matinia Jones. Savannah Lee Keller. An honored veteran, Jeremy David Colves. Zachary James Crimble. Gilberto Ledesma. Medea Leja. Kalia Danielle Martin. Valerie Martinez. An honored veteran, Mary Elizabeth Mazak. Erica Josefina Mejia. Gisela Liliana Montiel. Debbie Sherelle Ramos. Kylie Nicole Rivera. An, an honored veteran, Elliot Ernest Rodriguez. Kayla J. Rosas. Jorge Torres. James Walker. Kristen Michelle Music. Shivanji Vinayak Patel. John Michael Pateo. Dylan Lane Polaro. Eric Reneo. Irma Linda Rodriguez. Jennifer Helen Roldan. Gabriel Allen Salas. Jeanette Salazar. Monica Yvonne Salazar Cepeda. Melody Nicole Sanchez. Heather Don Smyk. Simic. Joshua Andrew Solis. Charlotte Ray Sullivan. Amanda Marie Taylor. Michelle Diane Thompson. An honored veteran, Ozzy Eli Tiscareno. Elizabeth Tovar. Amanda Lee Valdez. 
Stacy Vanity Van Ness. Amanda Marie Vasquez. Virginia Estela Vasquez. An honored veteran, Daniel Quilantan Veracruz. Abby Nicole Ibarra. Roxanne Zavala. Graduating from the College of Business, Masters of Business Administration, and honored veteran, Ronald Dale Adams. Sharon Ann Aguien. Edward James Andrade. Blaine Gary Beckman. Frank David Bonet Pedraza. Joris Michael Henri Buffa. Bianca Liliana Cantu. An honored veteran, Ivanka Kanzias. Melanie Jean Castro. Thomas David Contreras. Charles D James Diaz. Ashley L. Dix. Allison Fernandez. Yvette Garcia Flores. An honored veteran, Cody Ray Garcia. Michelle Elizabeth Gonzaba. Andrea Lee Griffith. Christopher Paul Hernandez. Robin Lee Ingerich. Ian Abram Lemke. Ready, Ian. Rebecca Lopez. An honored veteran, Adam McKinsky. Cassandra Morales. Lauren Ortega. Paul C. Ortiz. An honored veteran, Jose Luis Perales. Rosalinda Dolores Procel. Maribel Ramirez. Patrick W. Ramirez. Dana Joanne Satterfield. Gabriel Serrano Jr. Ramish Shanmuga Sundaram. Todd Kevin Spiva. William Eric Stewart. Joshua A. Suarez. Deidre Alicia Vasquez. An honored veteran, John Christian David Guatemaleo. Samantha Diane Weitrick. Master of Professional Accounting, Jacqueline Victoria Aguillen. Yoshida Arambula. Luz N. Arias. Anais Alexandra Arteaga. An honored veteran, Blanca Estela Barajas. Jose Rafael Cárdenas. An honored veteran, Eric H. Conley. Pedro Leon Galvan.
Grecia Garza. Jonathan David Castor. Alejandro Javier Martinez. Tessia Nolita Muniz. Andy Nahara. Anu Rimal. Priscilla Ann Segovia. Alexander Tomic. Shaldan Yen. Graduating with a Bachelor of Business Administration, Jennifer Lynn Adcock. Kristen Shannon Alvarez. Darian Patrick Angula Ruggles. Amanda Aguillo. Albert Christian Baca. Courtney Helena Baker. Adeline Darkest Ballet. Janet G. Banegas. Amanda Bellinger. Lauren Calandre. Paul Matthew Cantu. Yolanda G. Cardona. Alexa Marie Carvajal. Carmela Arli Carvajal. Christopher Andrew Castro. Jacqueline Marie Charo. Kimberly Chavez. Sam Fors Chi. Justin Aaron Contreras. Keisha Denise Cooper Forcion. Jocelyn Daniel Covarubia. Pamela June Kuntzinger. Steven Davila. Zachary B. Davis. Daisy Denise De La Fuente. Jennifer Gail Dirks. Juliet Jacuma. Elisa Mary Ellis. Ana Maria Escatel. Miguel Esteban Flores. Reina Dalia Funes. Stephanie Nicole Garcia. Jennifer Eileen Garza. Ashley Ann Gibson. Adriana Gonzalez Esquivel. Christopher Vincent Guajardo. An honored veteran, Gavino Guerrero. Paul Quintin Hairston Jr. Jamie Bonita Jamie Hall.
Christian Paul Harmon. Chad Christopher Hayes. Adriana Nicole Hernandez. Travis Matthew Huckleberry. Sabrina Soto Hernandez. Nayeli Lizette Jaime Martinez. Holly Brooke Jenkins. Alex Antonio Johnson. Jayla Shamara Bray. Abigail Renee Jones. Brian James Kilty. Christopher Richard Kobler. Gerald Nolan Leal. Luce Marie Ledesma. Sonia Michelle Likander. Jeffrey Scott Lewis. Emily G. Lopez. Emmanuel Ray Lopez. Lisa Lopez. Emily Marie Lugo. Lynn Ann Lulofs. Diana D. Macias. Christopher Jacob Martinez. Ismael Martinez, Jr. Luis Antonio Martinez. Terry McBlain. Christopher Matt Metzger. Lee Tommy Miyuchi. Gilberto Jose Montemayor. Han Tai Nguyen. Erna Marie Noriega. Cynthia Abigail Nunez. An honored veteran, Oscar Andrew Nunez. Justin Carlos Orion Ochoa. Samira Karen Ortega. John Charles Overmeyer. Brisela Jure Pacheco. Marco Antonio Paredes. Tanya Marie Perales. Olivia Quinn Perez. Erica Angel Phillips. Pedro Prieto. An honored veteran, David Paulino Puente. An honored veteran, Aldo Remigio Ramirez. Jose Eduardo Ramos IV. Brooke Nicole Randall. Stephanie Beatriz Rangel. Dylan Frederick Rao. Andrew Renteria. 
Michael Anthony Revilla. Allison Chelsea Rios. An honored veteran, Linda Rodriguez. Raul Lopez Rodriguez. Jill Ashley Rumbo. Erica Salgado. Eddie Xavier Samaniago. Juan Sanchez Jr. Catherine Lauren Salcedo. Jennifer Ann Cifuentes. Morgan Aaron Smith. Bruna Michaela Sosa. Benjamin Anthony Sperling. Marcy LaShawn Spiller. Richard Xavier Springs. Daniel Sunison. Faith Renee Swan. Dustin Dean Taylor. Luz Maria Taylor. An honored veteran, Patrick Oscar Torres. Blanche Valerie Trulinder. Eli Drenai L. Vasquez. Karina M. Vasquez. Marisa Vega. Michael Dominique Veneri. Brandon Gregory Wilson. Gregory Steve Wright. Tyson Lee Nguyen. Harong Yang. Bachelor of Science in Computer Science, Christopher Lee Mesa. Robert Lynn Rutherford. Graduating from the College of Education and Human Development with a Master's of Arts, Elizabeth Aguirre. Margaret Chris Acevedo. Janice C. Batiste. Martha Leticia Bronstein. Elizabeth Alejandra Chavez. Natalie Dawn Crabtree. Amanda Annalisa Angelica Isenia de Hoyos. Amber Lynn Edwards. Juliana Guadamuz. Melanie Walton Hensley. Cynthia Ann Hernandez. Karen Elizabeth Herrera. Eduardo Martinez. Patricia Garcia Morales. Michelle Muñiz. Veronica Lara Pindel. Karen Lee Rodriguez. 
and honored veteran Esteban Alberto Salinas. Valerie Segovia. Ijwama Tochiobi. Arazeli Marevel Travino. Crystal Marie Trujillo. Kevin Van Laham. Julie Ann Velez. Tamika Alisa Watford. Samantha K. White. Selina Andrea Cantu. Andrea Christine Gonzalez. Monica Tobias Guerrero. Marshall Sterling McDonald. Jennifer M. Mendiola. Lynette Marie Ramos Parsons. An honored veteran, Jared Evan Shaw. Master of Science, Barbara Careon. Annette Jones. Amanda Ramos. An honored veteran, Kyla Renee Ruan. Bachelor of Science, Marisol Acosta. Tony A. Acuna. Sandy Bell Aguirre. Melissa Lee Aleman. An honored veteran, Ann Casia Alvarado. Clarissa Ann Alvarado. Alexandra Elizabeth Anguiano. Cecilia Arevalo. Luis Antonio Badillo Marin. Juana Banderas Mares. Samantha Marie Barrera. Brianna L. Barrett. Katrine Marie Bendeley. Danielle Bowden. Brooke Nicole Bush. Kimberly Ann Campbell. Alejandra Stephanie Campos. Kimberly Lynn Cantu. Steven Alfonso Carmona. Lilia M. Carillo. Jillian E. Casares. Sheila Casas. Christy Marie Castillo. Carlos Cerda. Adriana Janelle Chagoya. Amanda Combs. Cynthia Cristelli Correa. Vanessa Marie Cruz. 
Vanessa A. Cruz, Cassandra Davila, Iris De Leon, Lorena Versatigi Igo, an honored veteran, Eric Tyrone Ferguson. Ruby Ann Fernandez. Danielle Flores. Ilse A. Flores. Maricela Andrea Flores. Lauren Nicole Frisbee. Alexandra Gallegos. Eduardo Javier Galvan. Maria Juanita Gona. An honored veteran, Oscar H. Garcia. Linda A. Gardner. Jennifer Emily Hartman Garrett. Elisa Nicole Garza. Amanda Garza. Ariana Garza. Zachary Thomas Garza. Guadalupe Gomez. April Lisette Gonzalez. An honored veteran, Janita Shawin Grant. Cindy Marcela Guerrero. Naomi Gutierrez. Amy Elizabeth Hansen. Annaline Sky Harrington Lopez. Anna Marie Hernandez. Melissa Irene Hernandez. Naisha Marianne Hernandez. Erna Ruby Herrera. Sherry Jonathan Hill III. Nicholas Anthony Ibarra. Yasmin Ibarra. An honored veteran, Amanda Susan Johnson. Tiffany Ann. Holterman, David Lara, Desiree Marie Lemire, Courtney Ryan Lope, Carlos Longoria Jr., Karen V. Lugo. Natalia Carolina Macias. Rodolfo Magallan Garcia. Nicole S. Martin. Joanna Tamayo Martinez. Sarae Martinez. Tiffany Nicole McCoy. Lindsay Marie McKinney. Janet M. Medina. Laura Lisa Medina. 
Marlon Mendez. Tabitha Renee Miller. Leslie Y. Moore. Roxanne Denise Moore. Ashley Victoria Moreira. Daniel Benjamin Moreno. Jennifer Elizabeth Nelson. Maria Cecilia Nunez. Lauren Renee Ochoa. Rita Marie Odom. Kimberly Reina Ojeda. Desiree Danielle Oguin. Desiree Marie Onofre. Jasmine I. Ortiz Mendoza. Maria Lindubina Padron. Consuelo Zuriel Perez. Tanya Perez. Amanda Monique Rayford. Alisa Renee Ramirez. Cynthia Lucero Ramirez. Delia Alicia Ramirez. Jessica Ann Ramirez. Jessica Denise Ramos. Rose Marie Renteria. Armando Reyes. Leslie Ann Reyes. Luz Dania Rivera. Priscilla Rocha. Jason Bernard Rochon. Erica Marie Rodriguez. Jasmine Marie Rodriguez. Lori Beth Rodriguez. Lourdes Alejandra Rodriguez. Dalicia Alamar Rojas. Marina Leonia Roy. Laura Amaton Ruiz. Lori Ann Ruiz. Karen Salas. Ann Ruiz Salazar. Esther Marie Sanchez. Heidi Brigitte Salceda. Shana Suleiman Sayani. Haley Matilda Serna. Rachel Elizabeth Sheridan. Cindy Silva. Paige Nicole Singleton. Irene Esther Soriano. Alina Terrazas. 
Laura Alejandra Treviño Leva. Kimberly Rose Uriegas. Annalisa Valenzuela. Laura Michelle Valfrey. Gabriela Vasquez. Danette Idolina Vega. Cynthia Beliz. Blanca Paloma Villanueva Delaney. Yesenia Villarreal. Sylvia P. Villasenor. An honored veteran, Natalie Whalen. Randy Ray Willis. Megan Elizabeth Chandre. Savannah Ibarra. Christopher Lawrence Zamora. Ladies and gentlemen, Lauren Louise Zorita. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now my honor to present you Philip Ray, Vice Chancellor for Business Affairs with the Texas A&M University System. In his role with the system, Mr. Ray is responsible for all real estate development projects involving a public-private partnership, negotiation of operational efficiencies, opportunities, financial accounting and reporting oversight, direction of tax and fiscal activities, and on and on and on. Mr. Ray received his BS degree from Texas A&M University Commerce and his MBA from Southern Methodist University. Please welcome Mr. Philip Ray to the podium. Mr. Ray. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank, you. Thank you, good afternoon. Man, what a letdown to have to listen to me after that. This is San Antonio, let's celebrate these graduates. Come on, give them a hand, give them a hand. When the chancellor asked me where I'd like to go this, uh, this graduation season, he listed off some, some different towns, and I kept saying, no, no. All of a sudden, he said San Antonio, and I said, sign me up. I'm going to go see those Jaguars. So on behalf of Chancellor John Sharp, let me just tell you what an honor it is for me to be here and represent him and, and the Board of Regents uh, to celebrate your uh, uh, remarkable accomplishments. Uh, it always is close to my heart as a first-generation graduate myself. When I see, when I know so many of you are out there, first generation, and uh, it just warms my heart. Uh, thank your families, thank your spouses, thank all the ones that helped you and stuck with you, and and and, and thank you for everything that that you've done as well. Uh, it, it's just a privilege to be with y'all. Now I'm going to keep this pretty short, so I'll get a real round of applause in for that. But uh, one of the things I will, t you know, I I don't know a lot of things. Uh, when I got my undergraduate, all I can tell you is that was the six best years of my life. I'll tell you that. I don't know a lot of things, but I will tell you this. I don't know what your future is going to hold. I suspect it will hold a lot of success. Uh, I think you're going to have much accomplishment. But the one thing I do know, and take this with you, and I want your parents and, and your friends and family to hear this as well. What I do know, I speak all across the state at celebrations just like this. Uh, pretty regularly. I do know that your faculty at A&M San Antonio is the finest that we have in the system. They have you well prepared. I do know that. And so take that. <laughs> Proud of them. So
So you all are on equal footing, if not better, than anyone in the universe. So go get them, Jaguars. Now for the official part of this thing, let me get to the business why they allowed me to join you all. On behalf of the Chancellor of the Texas a University System and by the authority of the Texas a University System Board of Regents, it is my sincere pleasure to authorize President Matson to confer the respective academic degree for which you have been recommended with all rights, privileges, responsibilities, and obligations pertaining thereto. Congratulations. May peace be with you always. Mr. Ray, thank you for your support and the great work you do to promote Texas A&M San Antonio and the entire system. Now, will the degree candidates of the graduating class of 2017 please rise? President Matson, I certify that the candidates standing before you have completed all of the requirements for the respective baccalaureate and master's degrees, and I now recommend on behalf of the faculty that the, the degree to which they are individually entitled be conferred. Are you ready? Okay. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents of the Texas A&M University System, acting under the enabling legislation that serves as a charter of this university, I now confer upon verification and completion of the degree to which you are entitled to with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining here thereunto. Graduates, you may now move your tassels from right to left to represent your new status. And you may turn your university rings to face outward. Please remain standing for our singing of the alma mater, ben Bienvenidos, performed by University Voices. The words are on the last page of the program if you want to sing along. Graduates, on your journey, you relied on your family, friends, and colleagues to provide you with love, support, and guidance. 
and it obviously worked. Please take a moment to turn around, wave, and applaud those who helped you get here today. In closing, I would like to recognize our excellent staff, including the sign language interpreters, Emily Lush and Lacey Tomlinson, and our captionist, Whitney Riley. They've all worked so hard to make this day possible. Our staff is truly committed and passionate about the success of our students. Thank you also to our wonderful faculty for their commitment to discovery and collaboration. I want to sing live professors Douglas Carter and Francis Galan, our wonderful name readers today, who helped us keep right on pace. In a minute, in a minute, that's the key words, the Mariachi Damas de Alisco will perform, followed by our traditional balloon drop. We ask friends and family to remain in their seats while students and platform party recess. But, but, before that, you know, I'm sitting here on stage and I have a little bit of time to myself. I happen to be the head of our athletics committee that's looking at uh, starting athletics at the university. And Mr. Ray was kind enough about five minutes before this started he has the funding available for a 65,000-person stadium in five years. Give him a huge round of applause. No, I'm, I, made, I, made, I made that up. I made it up. But it's, someday it's going to happen. And it, and it occurred to me, we've got, some, we've got traditions here, but we need one that in 15 or 20 years, when your students are down here on the floor, 30 years, whatever it might be, that they're as much into this as, as possible. So when we do get a stadium eventually, a field house, whatever, there's something that I want to start today, and we're going to do it at every graduation, and maybe in 10 or 15 years, we'll get it right. Here's what we're going to do. Straight up ahead, turn around and look, that's section 100, way up at the top. We're going to put them over on this side of Freeman. So all of the graduates on the floor, plus everybody over here is on one side, you and everybody from 131 over is on the other. Now to do this right, I've got to have some help. So I'm going to get our three vice presidents, Dr. Mahan, Dr. Ortega, Dr. Spindle, get up here. One second. You stand over here. You guys get over here. Now I'm going to ask Mr. Ray to come up here with these guys, and I'm going to ask the president to stand over here. Now you know what kind of a cheerleader Dr. Mahan is. You know what kind of a cheerleader the president is, right? Oh, no, Philip, you've got to come over here. These guys need help. Now, here's what we're going to do. Does everybody know how to spell Jaguar? I kind of have to stop and think. J-A-G-U-A-R. So this is what our little tradition that's starting today is going to be. We're going to start over here with our cheerleaders, and you're going to go J-A-G as loudly as you can, and that includes all of you, and see if you can outdo them. We're going to do it three times. They're going to need all the help they can get. That's why I gave them the extra section over here. So, President Matson, Vice President Mahan, start it out. Come on, guys. One last time. Get them involved. All right. Now, we all know who won that one. Congratulations over here. No, it was, a dead, it was a dead heat. It was a dead heat. All right, everybody, this concludes the fall 2017 commencement ceremony for Texas A&M University. Thank you for coming. Stay around, meet, gather, remember, stay in touch, and drive home safely. Thank you all very much. <laughs>